Welcome back. Thank you for tuning into TVM's 2016 election coverage. With us to discuss social media of this election, we have Sarah Wagner, Ann Zukowski, Rachel Eiler, and Bethany Waite. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks, Thanks. for having us Thank once you. again. <laughs> so social media has obviously been a very big uh, kind of method being used by both candidates. Can you kind of talk to me about how uh, each candidate utilized it? Bethany, you can start. Well, you clearly can see like there's a strong difference in how each candidate chose to use it. Trump used it more as a way to kind of have like a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the with his like current supporters while Hillary was more using it trying to reach out to using the main users of social media millennials because you can see that with like the certain hashtags she used compared to like Trump who was just sending more general tweets about like certain about like certain events like his opinions on things and all that. Right, he actually tags people and he'll mention people rather than just uh, using hashtags and retweets like Hillary does. So um, Donald uses more of those actually using the tags to generalize, generalize who he's talking about. I feel like and on top a, of that, oh, um, not only is he in the debate and the candidates now, but he also used to be in the entertainment business, so his following is a lot larger and also the amount of audience he's reaching. So that's big too for social media. I feel like with the mentioning of people, it's a lot of subtweeting I feel like sometimes. Um, yeah. And I think that can kind of hurt him a little bit. It's very petty um, between both of them, I think, because there's not only subtweeting with him, but Clinton as well in some points. Um, but I think, you know, there's a lot of memes going out that saying it's like two parents are fighting and we just want to go live with you know, uncle, whoever, whatever. And um, I think social media plays such a big effect since like it is the new type of media that gets um, news faster to across the world. Um, and I think that the way they utilize it really I think even says more of who they are um, with their maturity levels. And social media I think adds a whole new level of saying something that you can't take back. I mean, that's always existed, that's existed in writing, that's existed on TV, but social media just completely triples that because you could be sitting in front of your computer, type something, it's out there, you can delete it, but bef they have so many followers, by the time you can delete it, so many people have seen it, screenshotted it, and it's virtually there forever. And you may not have your facts right, you may say something in a fit of rage, it's there.